Today, we're gonna to be looking at what for us is the, the fastest and most accurate way for us to level our rig. How's it going? Welcome to another All About RVs. I'm Jared Gillis, and today we're gonna to be talking about leveling your rig. When you, when you get somewhere and you've reached the destination that you're going to, you really just wanna get set up quickly, and uh, the, usually the first step of that is getting your rig situated and level. Now there's a couple of reasons why you'd want to level your rig properly. Um, you want your, your rig level for comfort, but it's also for function too. Uh, your RV fridge works off of absorption, and not to dive into this too deeply, but that ammonia and hydrogen, the way that that reacts and works is you need to have gravity. And as the gravity flows down those tubes, you need to be flat. So they say that your fridge shouldn't be any more than two degrees out of plumb. Now, the way that we level our rig isn't the only way, it's just our favorite. Now, in the past, we've used uh, chunks of wood, like two by six to drive up on. We've used uh, bubble levels. We have used those blocks that you can stack up. We've even tried to use our iPhones, just setting it on the floor to see if we can find level with that. Now, the first thing that we found to be helpful in getting our rig level is you always wanna level your rig side to side first uh, because you don't wanna try and jack it up on your uh, scissor jacks or your C-stands. They're not meant to be lifting your rig like that. They're meant to, to help support it. So you wanna get your rig level left to right before you unhook your vehicle. And what we use for that are those those red curved wedges that you put underneath your tires. They're they're called the the Anderson Camper Leveler, and you just you just place them underneath the tire. You drive up on them until you reach level, and then you basically put this other second wedge in there to hold it in that position. And it even acts as a wheel chalk. I'll put a link in the description to the ones that we use. We've been using them for quite a while and uh, they have worked great. They've held up fantastic, very strong, very rigid. We really haven't had any problems with them. They've been very convenient. They pack away small. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, check the link in the description. And the second thing that we use is the, the Level Mate Pro. Um, it has this device that you mount inside your rig and then you have the app and it tells you uh, how much you need to raise the right or the left. So say you didn't want those red levelers, the Anderson levelers, if you wanted to stick with maybe the, the stacks, those blocks that you can stack up, it'll tell you that you need to raise the driver's side or the passenger side by so many inches. Say you need to move up an inch and a half or two inches. Uh, you stack those to that height and then you pull up on it. There's a couple of reasons why I like this system. For, for one, I can turn it on. They've now made this with an on and off switch, which is helpful so you don't kill the battery as quickly. But I, I turn it on and let's say we're somewhere where um, I kind of get to like boondocking where you get to pick where you exactly you want to park your rig. I can drive around with that app and find an area that's already going to be somewhat level so that I'm not completely fighting the, the terrain. It's going to tell me how far off I am from left to right and uh, from front to back, which is all the information that I need to finding the flattest spot I can. But in your typical scenario, uh, we just put these right behind the tires, open up the app, pull up on them till we're level, and then I give the, th the thumbs up to put those chocks in and we're good to go. Then we can drop the front feet and disconnect our vehicle, and then we can level it from front to back using the app. Now the install was was pretty simple on this Level Mate Pro. I believe I actually filmed a little bit of it when I uh, was installing it. So. Um, let's check out what the install was like. The physical mounting of this unit here looks awful simple. Uh, we have the, the two mounting brackets there, two screws that are going to go in the, the wall. Um, so we need to mount this in the trailer. And from what I understand in our RV, uh, from what I understand, you don't have to worry about getting this thing extremely level. I mean, you don't want to be crazy. You want to get it as level as you can, but then you level your rig uh, to the most accurate level position that you can. And then you basically calibrate this and tell this, this device that this is level. And so then you're going to be able to pull this up on your phone and be able to level your rig to that same accuracy every time. 
And this is the second edition, so it has the on off switch at the bottom so that uh, the battery doesn't die in this thing. It's got uh, something rattling. Oh, I think the mounting hardware is inside. Well, I think this area is gonna do the trick. It's our medicine cabinet. We got a, a bunch of wall space up here that's not being used. So um, we're gonna take the mounting hardware out of the inside and just screw it to the wall here, fairly level to the trailer. You can see installing that was no big deal, but after that I went around with a four foot level and I got this thing just as close to level as I possibly could. I was just checking everywhere till I was happy with it. And then you just open up the app, enter in your dimensions of your rig and uh, save it and set the level. And once you've done that, you're gonna be able to use the app to level up your rig to that same position every time. Well, that's gonna do it for today. That's everything on how we like to level our rig. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we'll see you in the next video.